Are you looking for the best pair of 20 by 80 binoculars for astronomy? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be introducing you to the top three recommendations and also walking you through some of the specifications that you need to look at and that you can use to compare the different models and products on the market. Now, if you'd like a text-based version of this review and guide, then do check out a link in the description. It's gonna take you through to my website, astronomyscope.com, and it's gonna give you this breakdown in text format. It might be a little bit easier for you to, to consume and digest, um, but if not, then stick around and we will get into those three top picks shortly. But firstly, I would just like to walk you through some of the different aspects of specification that you are going to want to compare. Now, we're gonna start off with field of view. Some of you may already know some of this, um, but it's important to know and we won't go over this for long. So the first one is field of view, and essentially that basically means, you know, how much of the sky do you want to see at any one time? So when you see a field of view presented, it's often presented in, a, in degrees, but just consider that the greater um, the field of view given, so the higher the spec, the greater the view of the sky at any one time. So for instance, a three degree field of view is gonna give you more or more visibility into the sky at one time than say a 2.5 degree field of view. They're just examples, obviously. The second thing to consider is coatings. So you get basically different types of coatings on the lenses and essentially the three main different types are fully multi-coated, multi-coated or fully coated. Now, fully multi-coated are considered the superior version, and it essentially means that they've had multiple different coatings. Um, they've, they provide better light transmission and brighter kind of sharper views and contrasts of objects in the sky. Next up, you have multi-coated. So a little bit down, they're, all, they're great, they're also good, um, and they have anti-reflective compounds on one of the surfaces, but they just don't give you that full clarity that you would get from fully multi-coated. And lastly, fully coated. So they, you know, they're, they're kind of scratch proof um, and they, they've they got some kind of coating layer, but again, it's not gonna be, a, 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 they're not gonna have that kind of level that the fully or multi-coated versions have. The last thing we need to look at is the eye relief. So this is a mainly a consideration if you wear glasses and you want to wear glasses when you work with your binoculars or use them, I should say. So this, the eye relief is essentially the distance from your eye to the glass of the eyepiece. So imagine if, if you're holding your binoculars to your head. Um, now, basically, you will need a longer eye relief if you are a glass wearer or, you know, what you only wear any form of, of glasses or maybe even contact. If, if you wear contact lenses, obviously you won't need them. But just um, just bear that in mind. If you wear glasses, you will need to consider the eye relief. So on to the recommendations, and I'm going to start with third down to first. Consider all of these are great options. I wouldn't, they wouldn't be in the list if they weren't, um, and they've all got great customer reviews. There's some pros and cons, and we'll be walking through each one. So in third place, we have the Orion 51464. Now, you can see on the left-hand side there the specifications. So they have a 3.2 degree field of view. They're fully multi-coated, so that's the, the, the second best, if you like. An eye relief of 17 millimetres and they weigh 4.7 pounds. Now, some of the pros of these binoculars are they are considered solidly built and they're comfortable to handle if you were to handle them or hold them, I should say. So one thing to consider with 20 by 80 binoculars, you're probably going to need a tripod. They are quite heavy. They're quite large as well. You might be shocked to see how large they are if you haven't seen a pair of them before. So you might need to use a, a tripod if you're using them for an extended period of time. But if you are holding these, this the Orions, they are, they are quite comfortable. Um, as I've said there, fully, fully multi-coated optics. So yeah, you get some good light exposure and some good clear views of the sky. And these are a good choice for eyeglass wearers. At 17 millimeters, it's one of the highest on the list. Now, I've already mentioned their, their, their weight, um, but some of the other cons and, and things I've noticed from customer reviews is they, some of these have been known to be out of columna col culmination. So basically what that means is, um, the, the, the views are quite distorted um, and you know they're not really usable in that condition so you will need to if, if they do arrive culminated you will need to probably send them back 
and get them replaced. That will be free of charge. Typically, um, that's something that is known with astronomy equipment. Um, but you know, you have to wait wait for a period of time to get them back. So you, you could be without your, your binoculars for a while. So do just consider that. And another con of these particular binoculars is that the, ca the case and dust covers aren't really that great. So the dust covers are quite large and they've been known to fall off. Um, so that can be a little bit annoying. Um, and the case is, well, it offers some good protection. Um, it's a little bit difficult to work with, you know, putting your binoculars in and taking them out and it's just a bit of a nuisance. So, you know, not the best. So you might want to upgrade that. So that's just another cost to potentially consider. So in second place, we have the Celestron Skymaster 20 by 80. Now consider this is the standard version. Um, and if we look at the specifications on the left hand side, we can see that First and foremost, these offer a higher field of view than the Orion we just discussed. So consider that you will see more of the sky at any one time when using these ones. Um, but you obviously won't be zooming in as much um, if magnification is your, your main concern. Um, again, you've got the fully multi-coated lens coating. So obviously the same there. This particular model of binoculars has a higher eye relief at 18 millimeters compared to the 17 of the Orion. And lastly, which we need to consider here is the weight at 5.86 pounds. So these are considerably heavier than the Orion um, prop, uh, binoculars. So do consider that you are more likely to need a tripod when using these. They will be more difficult to hold and to, to have for an, you know, use for an extended period. Um, but if we just look at the pros and cons based on customer feedback and use cases, we need to consider that these are a great bridge between price and optic quality. So they're not the most expensive out there. Um, they have, you know, rubber eye cups and rubber coating in various places um, throughout the design, which makes them very comfortable for use. Um, and a lot of users report, you know, sharp, bright and clear images, particularly when the air is cool. Um, and we've discussed the wide field of view there. Now the cons, some users have reported that they're quite basic in terms of their construction, even though they have those um, rubber eye cups, you know, the rest of them seem, you know, some users have said they're, they're quite poorly built, um, especially when you compare them to other uh, binoculars in, in, in this particular 20 by 80 range. Um, and they have been known to have colour separation, double imaging and collimination issues as well. So just bear that in mind, um, you know, that you might need to send them back again. It's just one of those things that can happen with binoculars and something to be mindful of. And it does tend to happen with cheaper binoculars as well. So in first place is the uh, is the Skymaster Pro version. So as you'll see there, these are essentially the upgrade of the original 20 by 80s. And it's important to note that these were actually brought out and released. They were kind of redesigned. So these these were the these are an improved version of these essentially. Um, they've been upgraded and you know they've they've Celestron have worked through the issues that have been experienced by by the experience with these binoculars and they've been basically improved. So if we look at the specifications, do consider that the field of view has come down to 3.2 degrees. So you see uh, less of the sky at once, um, but they do have a, a shorter eye relief and they aren't as heavy as well. So do consider that they're not as heavy as the previous version. Um, now, a lot of users report that these can be used for both astronomical and land viewing fantastically well. They're great for scenic views, viewing things like yachts and ships and things like that. Um, the You can kind of see it in the center of the binoculars there, but there's a, fo a focusable kind of one center knob that you can use to focus in and out, which is really user friendly and great to use. Um, there's a detachable RSR rail that enables you to attach a finer scope. So you won't get that on the kind of standard version of the Skymasters. Um, and you can take that off if you don't want to use it as well, which is great. Um, the build is just better quality than the, uh, the, the standard 20 by 80s. Um, and there's, there's few re um, reports of collimation as well. So just bear that in mind um, that these don't, you don't, if you get these, you, you're unlikely to need to send them back. Um, they're also waterproof and nitrogen purged. So they're better in all weather conditions. So if it's raining or whatever, you know, it's foggy, they should work a lot better and they're less likely to encounter damage if you did if you were to use them in those conditions and you also get additional components such as an objective lens cap a rain guard as well neck strap a lens cloth and an instruction manual of how to use them which is always uh, beneficial now the con is that they are more expensive compared to the other binoculars on the market and the, the and out of the three that i've suggested to you today so i'd just like to share with you what they look like one side by side you can see the field of view here um, you can see the eye relief and you can also see the weight 
My choice is the 20 by 80 Skymaster Pros. I would recommend you get them. And if you click a link in the description below, it will take you over to Amazon. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I will earn if you uh, do click that link. But you will also, um, you know, Amazon is one of the best places to buy astronomy equipment. If, for instance, if you go over to, to Celestron's website, you, you'll notice you can't actually buy um, binoculars or products through their website. But so if you head over to Amazon, check out the customer reviews. You can see why I've chosen these particular binoculars um, compared to all of the others. And yeah, you, it's a place to go to to, to compare uh, as well. So head over to Amazon or alternatively head over to my, my guide on my website, Astronomy Scope, to see a document documented text version of this review. And with that said, I hope you have an excellent day. I would recommend that the 20 by 80 Skymaster Pros and I hope you have uh, a great uh, astronomy experience with whatever binoculars you decide to get.